That and means that know, told me you for the streets. Go back to him. Go back you to be the chased, streets. Like, Insert sweetie. Isn't that her song? I have no. Send him back know. to the Let streets. I do not La, da, de, da, de, da. <laughs> I send him back to the streets. Oh. Oh. Welcome back to our channel. Thank you so much for joining us again. My name is Intisar, but you guys can call me Zar. This is my beautiful husband, Joseph. Hey, hey. And we are back with another one. We're talking all things married at first sight. But I wanted to say first, um, Joe's birthday was this past weekend. So happy birthday to my beautiful husband. Mm -hmm. I am very appreciative of all that you do for us. I love you so deeply and i'm just really happy that we've chosen to do life together and be patient with one another and and really show up for one another and it's i just feel like we're just getting better at this every single day so thank you for just choosing me thanks man I mean that. Thank you for choosing me. I love you so much. Oh, I'm getting all worked up. Uh -huh. But I love him, y'all. I love him. He get on my fucking nerves, but I love him so much. So happy birthday, Daddy. Thank you. So yeah, we're back. We're talking all things married at first sight. Bust down. Say happy birthday to my baby father. We are not pregnant. Let me just put that out there right now. <laughs> As far as we know. Because we get those questions all the time. But I figure I'll let y'all know what's up with the what's up. So um, I guess we can get into it. This was kind of, I don't expect for this to be a really long one. We just want to run right through these mother jumpers and see what happens. So I guess we can start from like least eventful to most annoying yeah. and um, go from there. And I guess that means that we're going to start with Stephen Noy. Yeah. Everybody had a really good, I feel like a learning episode, something we learned a little bit more about everybody yeah. for each one. But I do think that um, it wasn't that eventful overall of an episode. Yeah. It's, for me, it just felt like Steve and Noy never really have that much going on, you know, outside of the job thing, which is just. Pretty, which is a big thing. Which is Which is a big thing, but that's just like. Their only real thing, you know yeah, what I that's mean? True. That's true. So it's to me. So it's, how big is it? Yeah, it's like it's really not a lot going on with them. That's why they really don't get that much camera time. You know what I mean? Um, they really don't do that, huh? Nah, they don't. They really, really don't. So, but that's why I think they're milking this job thing. Yeah, it, because you know what they also haven't done? They haven't just asked Steve, "What does not working look like for him?" Yeah. We still don't know. And that's the issue that I'm having. They sit down with Dr. Viviana and have the conversation. She's here. Um, experts, I guess, got a job. I'm really trying to understand it. Is it a budget thing? Um, like, do they not have the budget? Like, what is it? I, to me, I think that, that maybe that's it. Like, maybe it's just a thing of, like, they just, a lot of people is dragging the pandemic uh, the schedule. Pa and the, the pandemic price. The pandemic price out. <laughs> And I think, you know, during the pandemic, I feel like we just kept seeing less and less of them. Yeah. Um, and I think that's just carrying over into the season because I don't correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like we used to see a lot more of the experts when for sure before the year 2020. A thousand so, percent. Like, let they were me know in every single episode. I thought so. So I just think I just think the pandemic prices is just being it's just coming over. That's and I it. also feel like I, I and y'all let us know. But to me, as the seasons have gotten like as we've kind of grown with the franchise, I feel like the people have gotten worse. So why are the because it's the pandemic people? That's what it is. But I mean, like because I I feel like the people have gotten worse. Why aren't the experts more involved 
because the pandemic schedule doesn't allow for them to be. I don't get I, it. You know I'm over saying? it. Because they still doing it like. Maybe it is that though. I think it maybe is. Maybe it is that. Maybe it I is. I think about it is. The... Like the networks are, you know, maybe it is that. people was paying less and all this other stuff. And I think now they just leaning into it, like, okay, you could stay. You could just do it. You can phone in or yeah. you can send them a video or something like that. Because it's not like they're not watching. Because one of the things that Dr. Viviana said was we're watching. Like we can see everything and we're watching everything. So that means that it's not like you off, you know, on another job or, 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 or nothing like that. Like you just are just not around. That's a fact. That's a fact. And it's also annoying. But um, so let's talk about Stephen Noy. Steve just basically tells Noy that he can't keep up with the house duties and go to work. Well, this was okay. So this is one of my favorite parts. I don't know why. Because Steve why. said, <laughs> <laughs> "If I go to work, then there's not going to be anybody here to mop the floor, to run the dishwasher. Like, how will we live? How will we get by?" That was, and that was his stance, and he was sticking to it. And I mean, he was stuck <laughs> to it, okay? The issue that I have with this is what the f do Steve want to do? Like, I don't want to work. Like, I'm, if I'm being honest, I don't want to work. And, 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 and I'm saying that out loud so y'all can hold me accountable about work. But it's nothing to be held accountable about because when you say that, you have other things that you want to do that generate income. Yeah, that's true. And I am aware of those things. Right. Right. And but what and if I just didn't want to work? That's different. That's different. And that goes to that goes to um what I was talking about in society from uh the other week, right? Like I don't have a problem with that. And I think many people in society don't have a problem with that. But a woman not working. With a woman not working. Oh, because he's a man that don't want to yeah. work. It's it's so I do think there's a gender bias there in is. there. There is. I do think there's an underlying gender bias. But I also think that we're not asking Steve the proper questions. And Steve is not. <laughs> And I don't know, and I know um, we had somebody in the comments affirm this when I said, like, if you've ever, I'm in technology, you ever work with, like, engineers, developers, everything they say is very, it's not cryptic, it's just straightforward. So if you got to figure out the question that you're going to ask them to get the answer that you want. Does that make sense? Yeah. And I think that we're not asking Steve the right motherfucking questions. He already told us he ain't going but, back but, but 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 <laughs> like, but for me, and this is what I was saying. They last did not week, ask him, "What do you want to do for money?" But for me, the onus is on Steve, right? If you got to bring that to your wife, if you decide tomorrow, if I decide tomorrow, you know what? I'm done with this music shit. Okay, you know I would love it if you was a stay at home dad. I, I can hold this no, down. No, no, but I'm saying <laughs> if I came home and just and just decided, you know, and I'm done. I'm just done with it, right? Mm -hmm. The onus is on me to follow up with, but this is now what I want to do. You know what I mean? Like I need to. Oh, I agree. I need that. to come to my I don't wife. Put that on her. Yeah, yeah I need yeah, to come to I my wife and that. say, but this is my plan. Yeah. I bought 15 shares. Of Bitcoin yeah. and they're just and, and I just want to cash out. Yeah. I, whatever it is, it's up to me to follow up and be like, yo, this is what I want to do. And I think their issue is just the lack of a plan. Cause I think if she told if he told her, like, well, I secretly own um 50 shares of Bitcoin at forty thousand dollars a pop, I think the conversation would just be mute. You know what I mean? That's true. Because somebody did say, and I thought this was spot on. Somebody said, like <laughs> <laughs> it's not like what do Steve how much do Steve got in the stash that he just I don't you know what it is for me though I don't want what, two things as much as I think this is a big thing I think they got to figure out that how, a way to have that kind of conversation because what I think Noi is doing is keep having this conversation with the experts so they could so they could force him to get a job as opposed to just having a conversation with her husband but I think also the the experts Provide also context. need to, um, like you said, if I'm sitting down with the therapist, they also need to pry a little bit, right? Like, like be the conduit that that uh, helps them move forward in this conversation Nobody and the conversation that they should be having. What is the <clears throat> negative energy that you have towards working a corporate lifestyle? 
Yeah. Why did what happened that now you are so against it that that's something someplace that you no longer want to go to? Because entrepreneurship could be it could be a number of things, but yeah. I do think it's a good enough reason to ask that question. A thousand percent. Nobody has, a, especially in today's age, uh, society has warmed up a lot much more to entrepreneurship than has than it has in years past. We are a long way we made a lot of strides it's a lot of things we still need a lot of help with race relations women's pay all this other stuff but as far as entrepreneurship i think a lot of it's it's a lot less taboo than what it used to be right right and that's why i'm saying like we need to figure out what the fuck this man want to do for a living because i'm so fucking tired of hearing about them and this goddamn job it's not even funny but also like you said it's just unemployment also like you said this is just their only thing like people they run with they they take these storylines and right. they run with them You're just like right. just like you can't possibly believe that uh katina and elijah is just beefing every day because he hungry like that's not that that's not their they look very happy and you could tell they was very happy by what she said to the ladies when they were having their night out. And she said, I don't know. I, I prefer to be in my marriage. Right? <laughs> I love how you be going places and I don't be seeing how we got there. But, but it's you just be an taking example. Us on a yeah. trip. <laughs> but it's just an example. It's just an example of how they take these storylines and they run with them. Right. And so it's like, that's not. The mm. entirety of Katina, Katina's and Elijah Wan's story. Nor the entirety is it Noreen their, Smith. Right. I mean, Noreen nor, Steve. nor is it Noreen Steve, but that's just what they have. Yeah. Like, that's what that's what they have that, that's going to make up, you know, some type of, you know, entertaining storyline for that particular couple. Well, they talk about their, you know, sexual fantasies and things that they would want to fulfill. And Steve just want them to shower. <laughs> I just want us to be clean when we fucking. I don't want this life. <laughs> Which I'm with Steve. Listen, listen. Everybody know I don't. Mm-mm. <laughs> well, we know from last season. Um, some people have a problem with showering these days. I don't know. I don't know. Well, maybe I. Well, he said he wants the suds and all that stuff like that. So okay, Steve. Yeah. And she wants to have, um, you know, a little loving in a public place. And for me, it's like, y'all are boring. <laughs> if someone asks you, like, what's your, like, fantasy? Like, come on. Yeah, we I can mean, do it in a porn rain, running train, when it's hot, when it's cold out. Things they run in the train. I ain't saying all that, I'm, what I'm just saying. Not running the train. <laughs> But what is your fear to say? Like y'all yeah, not even giving are, nothing. Some people are really. I think, but I see it's the conversation we had about Middle America. Like and there's no no diss to Middle America. Not but at all. Most of America is Middle America. Very true. And I'm saying this to say, like some people, it's just plain white bread. Most people are just plain white bread. Yeah. Like everybody ain't. It's like I think if you live on the coast and you you live in New York and LA, you think you know it's a lot more interesting people in the world. It's really not. Like, it's, but you know they're what, at though? a minority. That's a thousand percent correct. I'm waiting for like whips and chains. No, no, and, no. You know, a little bit of Fifty Shades and most people it out wasn't here given. Um, ain't giving nothing but missionary. It wasn't given. So let's talk about uh, Lindsay and Mark. Yeah, Lindsay sits down, talks with her friend about how her and Mark ain't sleeping with one another or whatever the case may be and the friend will say well how are you hanging in there why like she was like i can't believe you still hanging in there y'all haven't had sex in 14 days and i'm thinking do you, i could go <laughs> i'm thinking like what is 14 days why is it such a mad dash to screw this man every day like i don't and i i really do promote a healthy like sex life i think that's really important but i also feel like y'all got two months to get to know each other but but to me this is more of people coming into the relationship really stuck in on their old habits or whatever they was used to doing in their prior relationship right like it it doesn't just stop at intimacy it stops at cooking and cleaning it stops at what they whatever they were doing with their finances it stops it 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 touches many aspects of life and the bigger issue is this idea that this relationship is just going to be whatever i was doing before right and people don't 
have a lot yes. of people don't have the open mindedness to go. This is a new living, breathing right entity. Yeah, and it's you're gonna literally be raising it. It's gonna be its own thing. Yes. Just because it, you're literally raising it, right? So you can have three children, and each of those children are could be very different and, and grow up in the same different things. And, right. And people, a lot of people don't treat the relationship like that. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, you might have been. You might have been analogy. fucking every day in your last relationship. This is not your last relationship. You have to understand your your spouse's motor and how it moves, and then and do what something that works. Intimacy looks like for them, and then do something that works for this iteration of your life. Right. And I think that that's just a bigger issue that I think a lot of these couples come into. Um, a lot of these singles come into. They come into this marriage with this single mindset of this is what I, or I just, this is just not what I do. I just don't cook and I just don't clean. Or I just don't uh I just don't know how to, you know, talk to somebody else about what I want. Or I just don't know how or to speak I just, about my problems. I'm used to screwing every day and he ain't doing it. And then he like I, I just feel like Lindsay is a fascinating character because we could all point out fifty thousand things that is a red flag with her, you know what I mean? And Mark inversely, but I do think she does not give him um room to show up and I think that I was really glad when Dr. Viviana just like really was like you're being rude yeah you know what I mean even how she described their sex like oh uh, it could have been better like it was okay it could have been better like I felt even for me but it was I'm, I'm it only comfortable now talking about like okay that could have been better kind of thing now because yeah. i think that the more you're comfortable about your needs especially with your spouse the easier it is to talk like you know like he ain't gonna feel no kind of way if i say that but it, i found it kind of mean because she doesn't have that she don't have no filter but i think that it was important for dr viviana to say check her motherfucking ass. yeah to say <laughs> Well, you're not going to have any type of good intimacy in your relationship. If Talking you, like if this. You constantly shitting on your partner. If you're constantly beating him down, like you're not going to you're not going to. That's not going to make anybody want to be more intimate with you. And I think it was important that she brought that out of him. And this is why I think they need to have more sessions and more interactions. They the need professor. separate sessions. The weirdest they need separate part, sessions. The too. weirdest part of this <clears throat> is that. It's very clear that these people need to watch themselves back. Like oh, I would yeah. be showing them themselves, right? Like, you know, what I mean? because I I know I could I could right. only believe how valuable my therapist would think if he could just because you gotta think you're only when you go to any therapist, right? They're only really getting your perspective on things. Right. So do you know how valuable it would be if I was just like. This is this tape moment of my life. This is exactly what happened. Like, you know what I mean? Let's or they could just come up. This. They can just say, well, this is what I saw. And I mean, this is a, a rare situation. In in everyday life, you go to your therapist. They can't just right. pull out an iPad and be like, well, that ain't what happened here. Right. right. They right. don't do that enough. You know? And I would be showing them receipts all the time because Lindsay, like Jasmina, like Elijah Wan, they all could benefit from that. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think that they all need to see themselves back in order for them to get a... And not that the, I, We've been watching the after show, so it's very clear that these motherfuckers really don't give a fuck about what yeah. they look like. They don't. They really they don't. They do not care. Because I be like thinking like, it's no way I would treat a human that way. And then, I don't know. Lindsay is fascinating, but I do like that she really is high energy. She seems like she wants to make the relationship fun. It's no doubt in my mind that the men that are with Lindsay find Lindsay fun. Yeah. I believe that a thousand percent. I also believe that they find her relatively unavailable. I'm always, you know what I mean? And by unavailable, I mean like emotionally, um, mentally unavailable yeah. because if, it's, if she has a very my way or the highway spirit because yeah. and mark has a very you know i don't want to put this all on Lindsay. the problem i have with mark is that he is weak in the knees okay <laughs> like yeah. you are a man and i ain't saying you got to be like rah rah with Lindsay, but somebody got it when he could when he told her to have another drink that's the kind of energy we, we want to see like sometimes not to say have another drink but more like Lindsay. Enough is enough. Like, you know what I mean? Right. Because to me, sometimes you got to um, 
smack a dog on his nose and push his face in the piss. Sometimes you got to buck at a motherfucker. You know what I mean? Yeah. So they know, like, I'm about it. Like you, And I think that him not necessarily cowering, but being less confrontational is not effort. Yeah. I don't think there's effort either. And I don't think he gets a star for not showing up and advocating for himself. Yeah, because at the end of the day, shutting down is is not okay. It's you not I mean, you're not adding okay. to you're not adding to a solution by shutting down either. But the thing is that I like about Lindsay and Mark is that they have these moments where they come back around and they're just like cool. You know what I mean? And I think oh, that yeah. and and when they were doing like the whole thing with the ball gag and asking each other like uh, these questions or whatever the case may be it was nice to see that like it was nice to see them having a moment it was also nice to see Lindsay's perspective on when she was with the women about how you know Mark would say we fought all month and we lost a month and she was like I don't think about it yeah, like that Like, I, I'm glad that she interjected and said like this is a learning experience and at the end of the day the the strongest muscle I think you can have as a couple is the kind of bounce back muscle that they have. And that to me is what's going to take them past decision day. I remember uh, hearing, watching something about an old couple. They was talking about, you know, somebody said, well, what do you, they've been, they've been married 50 something years or something. And somebody say, well, what's the secret to um, a long lasting marriage? And they said, just don't leave. Did we watch that? Or did we, did we talk to those people? I think, we watched it. I can't remember. I can't remember either, but it is the the hallmark of the, the most valuable trait you can have. It <laughs> is. Just, that's it. Like, And I'm going to tell you why, because you're absolutely right. Me and Joe can have terrible fights, right? Not often. Not often. But if we, let me say this, if we have a terrible argument, right? I think both of us still have in the back of our mind, like, we did all this and ain't nobody going no fucking way. Yeah, yeah. You did all that and you're going to just have to, then you're going to go over there and tuck your tail, apologize, and we're yeah. going to get through it, right? You know what I mean? And I think that it, 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 when you make up in your mind, right, because this is the problem. The problem is, is that they make decision day such a big deal when they shouldn't. Yeah. They should be like, y'all should be striving for the day after decision day. Fuck decision day. Decision, we should already be sitting here saying we're going to make it, right? Because if you have that mindset, if there is no out, you're going to figure it out. Does yeah. that make sense? Yeah. So it's like, I think that even saying like, well, you know, decision day is coming up. Who knows what you're going to do? Like, no, that's not even what we're doing here. Like, we don't have a decision and day. They, and that's just uh, salacious entertainment. Yeah, for, for uh, you know, for, for for the crowds, for the fans, that's all it is. This whole the whole build up is just like this is a season finale. <laughs> like that's all it is. But I do think, yeah, that's the season finale for sure. But I do, excuse me, think that they need to. I think that there's something to. I don't know if you guys manifest anything. Words mean things, right? You know what I mean. And you have to talk about everything that you want. As if you already have it. Like, we already have a successful marriage. You right. know what I mean? And that's how they should be speaking about these things. As opposed to it being like, well, we got another four weeks, y'all. Yeah. You know what I mean? It is what it is. And and that takes me to... Who you want to end with? Katina and Elijah want to do me and Michael. Oh, definitely Jasmine and Michael. You want to end with them? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's talk about Katina and Elijah one. This is fascinating. First things first, I'm very glad that um, Dr. Viviana checked this motherfucker too. Okay. Yeah. Because one thing is. But but it wasn't even really a check to me. It was what you said that she should have did with Steve. Yeah. That, How about that? You know what I mean? <laughs> she just didn't do it. How like, about that? Yo, I was supposed to be, my second major was psychology. I was really supposed to figure out how to become a psychiatrist and be a doctor, but I just did not follow my my um my path. Uh, I don't know. I think you're doing what you are supposed to be doing. What am I supposed to be doing? You're... Like project management? No, no, no. Because <laughs> I, I, I didn't want to put too much out there, but I'm saying where you're going, oh, okay. what you're, you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. At the uh -huh. end of the day, you took the journey that you were supposed to take. Oh, okay. Well, thank you, Baba. Yeah. Um, so 
So Elijah Wan is still fucking mad that Katina ain't cooking and she ain't trying. And it really upset her because I think this is something, a point of contention for her, right? Something that she's kind of struggling with. But the issue that I have with this is that it's okay for him to have a gripe. And I, and I want to do full stop on it, right? It's okay for him to feel how he feels about how he wants his spouse to show up, period. However, I do think that one, the way that he comes off is just way too aggressive and he adds way too much value on things that don't really fucking matter. But I think the, I think the good thing that the good thing that happened with Dr. Viviana, like you said, is uncovering what the bigger issue is, Mm -hmm. because like I said before, the bigger issue for him is the effort, right? Mm -hmm. Nobody wants to feel like, they're giving and giving and giving and putting in effort and more effort and their partner is not doing anything. Right. And so to me, everybody got so caught up and triggered by the, 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 a woman being in the, in the, in the conversation with the words cooking and cleaning, which rightfully so we all understand it. Um, But the bigger issue was, and I'm glad that they got to it at the table. And he said, it's not about the cooking and cleaning. And it, and it was, it was, actually kind of a running theme of the episode because it happened with Lindsay and Mark had touched on it. Uh, Jasmine and Michael had also touched on it a little bit um, of like the effort. Everything in relationship is going to be a dance, a a yin and a yang, right? Uh, In any great team, they're great because the people are part of their team play their role at the best at their at their at their best in their best position they're doing the thing that they do best it doesn't matter how big or small it is it's just that you're playing your role to the best of your ability i'm playing my role to the best of my ability and that's why we're great right and i think to me it the whole cooking and cleaning thing got overblown but because they production know what they're doing it's salacious it's provocative it gets the people going i get it but at the end of the day she brought him some m&ms and he was like ready to cry and it was because of the effort. And Katina also understood that, I think, because Katina never once objected to his content. Katina's issue, to your point, Zar, was about his tone. It was about his delivery, right? Mm-hmm. So even, even Katina was 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 hearing, was was understanding what he was saying mm-hmm. and was low-key acknowledging it. Um, but I think we all can agree that it was really his tone and his delivery. Yeah, and I think that, you know, I think that that takes time too, right? Like, yeah. and I know y'all like, no, you shouldn't be coming in the world and talking to nobody like that. But the reality is people do what they do when they with other people, right? And guess what? Yeah, he been they bring for that an into, hour. Exactly. You bring that into a brand new relationship and you fix it over time. You know what I mean? Over time, things who learn to be a little bit more open. But the bigger thing was is that he needed her to be more open because it's very clear that he's a really emotional man. Not, and I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean that it's just one of his traits is that he has no problem with sharing his emotions. And if you're with a person who isn't giving you that in re- reciprocation, you do start not nickel and diamond, but like being nitpicky about everything else. And I think that that's where cooking and cleaning kind of fell into play or whatever the case may be. But it was very nice to see um, Dr. Viviana still get his ass together. But also to see them, you know, kind of be all flirty and have a movie night and then, you know, kind of get rubbed down. I like that they bought them something to make them a little bit more intimate because I think that they needed it. Like they a little push in the right direction. And I kind of hope that they got some things thanging. If y'all picking up what I'm putting down. They on. definitely um had sex that night. I hope they got some things singing because I was ready. Hell, did I have sex that night? <laughs> <laughs> I think we did. I think we did too. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. Like we want we wanted to, you know, that felt good. It felt good to watch and it felt good to see her really understand exactly what he's talking about and kind of show up a little bit more for him and hear him. And I'm certain he'll do that for her as well over time. Like I, I don't, I really feel like they'll be fine. I do too. I feel like, I feel like, I hope, I hope don't let me, you know what? Shut up. Cut that out. No, <laughs> I ain't giving these mother jumpers. No extras. <sighs> I think it's a good, I mean, to me, that's, 
to me, that's a that's an easy prediction. I, I, out of everybody, to me, they in the catbird seat. I hate that. So that, so that is oh, to that. No, um, wait. I didn't. Say, what? What do I hate that you say it too many too? Uh, the catbird seat. I mean, you got to pick <laughs> one. You like I didn't say. Um, you've been in the jersey on the day, so you no, can't. Oh you gotta God, pick one. no. But I do think that when they sat down and had the young ladies sat down and had had the conversation, that it was really good that Katina kind of said like no i love coming home to somebody i love um waking up to him make him being home whatever the case may be like i love that feeling and she, they are they like each other and they are happy despite this 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 what it appears to be a three-week argument about cooking and cleaning which it, that's not really what's also, happening it's the, you know what i mean because you 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 know people you can tell when somebody is really depressed in their relationship. That's like, true. Why we watched Johnny last season, he like he was about to uh, murder himself every time we saw him on camera. But like, also, we what we got to give grace to is that if you're a single person, right, you don't have the same kind of threshold and tolerance for things that you don't like as somebody who may have been in a relationship. Oh, that's true. Right. So Elijah Wan acting like that. Is it far fetched? Right. He was just a single man, so single men do shit like that. Like right. I'm done. Ah, like you know what I mean? It's not yeah. working. Ah, I'm annoyed. Ah, so it's like it, single people, single people. So I think that he reacted and it made sense. So when all the other girls was like, "I missed the chase and this and that," a lot of y'all be whores and y'all really don't need to be nobody wife. And and I'm really, really getting to the place in my life where I'm understanding because. I'm the girlfriend that want to make everybody a wife. Joe know that. I'm always trying to be like, oh, girl, I got somebody and he committed. And I'm always, always. But the older I get and the more I, and the older my girlfriends get, <laughs> and the more we talk, I get to really get an idea of the fact that y'all really ain't built for it. And that's okay. Some of, some of us aren't yeah. built for companionship and the responsibility that comes with that. Yeah, and some I, people are just really don't have the stomach like i just really am getting to the space where i really understand that like i get it i feel like you want the chase y'all still want to be chased get the fuck off of here i wouldn't even say no like yeah that is i don't even, i wouldn't even say and it's weird because i do but, but also and maybe i don't know if they mean like they need their spouse to court them because that's what Lindsay. that's not said. what she said but Lindsay said there's I a need very to be different wooed. that there's a very different uh, uh chasing and courting yeah, is a very different, different thing. things yeah. you know what i'm saying I'm and, and, and nobody need to be out that's that's to me, that's a sign of maturity, cause we're, cause real men, men and women don't don't want to be chased or need to be chased. Yeah, like the fuck. First what of are all, we doing? It's like the whole, well, <laughs> two could play that game type of thing. Like we ain't adults ain't playing games in love. They just not. I mean, some of these motherfuckers is. But that's but, but, but if I'm you saying, really adults, yeah, are grown grown folks are not out here playing games in love. Yeah. you don't have to chase real women. You have yeah. to chase men. You know what I mean? That is so true. Like, you just don't. It's just weird. That like, means, you know, that told me, you for the streets. Go back to him. Go back you to be the chased, streets. Like, Insert sweetie. Isn't that her song? I have no idea. Send him back know. to the Let streets. I do not La da -di -da -di -da. <laughs> I sent him back to the streets. Oh, I, I wouldn't know. I'm like, it's literally, I just didn't understand it. Like, I mean, I did understand it because I'm trying to give them the benefit of the doubt because they were just single. But it's like, people think that when you get married, all of that other shit stop. That's just yeah. not the case. Like, my husband still asks me out on dates. Yeah, you should be. It's funny because we was talking about, you know, this was on Love is Blind. We were talking about Ayana and, and uh, what's his name? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. them going them going out. And it was yeah. like, I was saying like this idea that like when you get married, you just got to, everybody stops going out. Nobody has fun anymore. Like that's bullshit. Like if your man is going out, go out with him, especially if he wants you to, especially if he's right. asking you, if I'm come, please you, come yeah. out with me. You know yeah. what I mean? Um, so yeah, you should be still going out and going on and dates and having met. fun. Yeah. Like imagine. Like, like girl, get a life. But even though I really like it, yeah. But that's what I'm saying. My point is, is that like, you know, like what does it mean like you still like the chase and then jasmina with her jasmina is a wet blanket yeah and for the streets give her back give her back to the streets since it was working so good for her apparently 
<laughs> yeah, we all didn't Since know. Since it was working so good for her, that. and she is the pinnacle of what good communication looks like. Yeah. Let me tell y'all something. This is a Michael Stan account, okay? And I don't give a damn what nobody said. Number one, Michael is a Pisces. I love Pisces. I didn't know that. Yeah, he a Pisces. And um, Joe is a Pisces. Well, y'all know that now because y'all know when his, his birthday was this past weekend. Really good. Overall, really, really good men. You know what I mean? Emotional temperaments, but good men overall. And I think that she is going to do one of two things. This is either going to be a really good relationship over time, right? She's a Scorpio. So she feel like she got to say everything on her motherfucking mind. And it's right. You know what I mean? And he is still very masculine, despite the fact that, like, Pisces are a really great sign because they have very masculine energy, but they don't have to be overtly, all that. <laughs> I, was, I was dying. They don't have to be overtly, like, rah, rah, rah. You know what I mean? So it's a really good dynamic. And that's why I said it could really freaking work if she wasn't such. If she wanted it to work. You, and she you, you can't. She ever have a successful relationship that you don't want to be successful that you don't want to work at she it, has no that you desire. don't want to be with that person and it's just very clear that she does not want this man or this relationship what it is for me is that i need you to do more but every time this man say something out his mouth you got to rebut something or you got to like, you know what I mean? Be nasty. Like it's the nastiness for me. Who talks to people in that manner? Like the way that she talks to him is the most fascinating thing. I don't, and, and, and I could get, I, I, I have my snarky days where I'm, I'm I call but it this media is not, matter of factly. No, cause this is literally somebody showing up with a machine gun to a fist fight. Like one of one of my favorite tweets that came out during this episode was somebody saying, Michael Colon, hey, Jasmina, do you want some water? Jasmina Colon. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down. Watch how you talk to me. Literally. Like this is that is the dynamic of the relationship. Like so he can't say anything. He can't do anything. It's like everything is hot button. Every, I mean, it's just it's like you are really a self-saboteur. And the worst part about it is that you're under the expectation or under the idea that you're not. Oh, yeah. That is the worst yeah. part, right? When you are talking to somebody and they do not think that they have an issue. Ever. Yes, me. You Jess, know they, they have an issue. an issue. It, it, how is Michael always wrong? Always wrong. But not only that, not only that, when you get married, you realize it's less about right and wrong. Well, Jasmina does not realize that at all. That was another good meme that somebody said. Uh, they said, Jasmina uh, is not here to be married. She's just here to be right. And that, and that, and that is that on that. Okay? Because that's what I be trying to tell people. Like, marriage is, I'm not, a, I mean, not that we've been doing this thing for a hell of a long time. But my thing is, or a long time at all, my thing is, you. we've been in relation with the, each other but for this a long is, time. But not only that, this is a basic relationship thing. That's what I'm saying. This ain't even necessarily, a, it's funny because we talked a lot about relationships in general this weekend That's, Um, when my sister was here. Shout out to my sister. Hey. Um, this is not even a, necessarily a romantic thing. You ain't going to keep relationships in your life, healthy ones, if that's really your mentality. Like, it's just always somebody else's fault. I ain't right. never did nothing wrong. I ain't got nothing to apologize for. You just want to be right. You're you going to be right by yourself in any facet of relationship. And it's and, and you're going to be right by yourself. Okay? I just think that she is... It's so unfortunate that she is such a beautiful young woman who is going to be single. I just think... I don't see how... Yeah. And let me say it like this. Until though. somebody really humbles her. Ooh. And that's a messed up thing too, right? It is. But I think it's required because, and another thing I didn't like was Dr. Viviana not digging into that more. Right. Like, you can say what you got to say without saying it in a certain way to him. But this is what I was talking is about. This, the, this is what I was, I was talking about, about, about the pretty privilege thing. Like, even the experts sit in front of Jasmina and don't realize that they're sitting in front of a dark-skinned Alyssa. 
She is a little they bit it's not up for the it's just it, it's like it's wild to me. But she is really causing this man trauma, and I really do not like she it. She is, and I hope he don't be I hope he doesn't bring that into his next situation. You know what I mean? Well, they got to do the oh, so many things. They got to do the little yoga thing together, which I thought was really dope. But I think they needed to touch each other and do all that because I, we all know Jasmina is cold. Yeah. And it's like, you know what I mean? And I want to give her the benefit of the doubt, but I'm tired. We on episode 10, ho. It ain't no more doubt, benefit, none left to give. Okay? Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? At this point, and I feel like... Uh, I'm glad they had that moment because I think he needed that moment as well. But I also want to go back to the session because she was mad that he brought up that they wanted to. He thought that they both could benefit from journaling their thoughts. This this whole scene was so toxic. Like, OK, well, I don't have no problem communicating. Journal. So I ain't going to journal. But but it also, I'm not going to journal because I don't have no problem communicating. And she said it like. But it, but it also was was a projection of. It was a, a snapshot of their entire relationship. It was like, no, this is you. This is a you issue, not me. It's very much so how but, she dis- how she carries herself and thinks about their entire but relationship. But that's the pretty You got privilege. an issue. I don't got an issue. That's the pretty privilege. You think you so fucking cute. There is nothing wrong with you at yeah. all. You cannot communicate, okay? Like, you know what but, I mean? But the main one always complaining about it. But then was telling us that she had a man that was treating her all good and shit like that. Like, girl, we do not believe you. We do not believe you. Ain't no but way. You can't Ain't answer no a question way. without taking digs at Michael. Like, he could say something like, We had a really good week that week. Um, you know, how do we rekindle that? And she'll say, Well, maybe if you stop being rude to me, Literally. then we can rekindle it that week. You just wasn't being a dick that week. And, so, and it's like, he wasn't even giving you that energy. But this whole time, it's been you. Unless it's some footage somewhere with him acting a plum it fool. Ain't. I'm not, I, I, y'all ain't going to give me the belief that this man is out here for, like dogging this woman. Like, y'all just not going to give me the believe it. And it's really fucking annoying. And she is really, really, really terrible to watch. It's getting real bad. I just find Jasmina relatively toxic. And I'm trying to figure out the problem is, I can understand how she got this far in the process, though. Because her temperament is mild mannered. And what's funny, though, is that I be thinking that, like, I've been really thinking about this. Joe will tell me if we arguing, it's not what you're saying is. What do you say? It's not what you're saying is how you're saying it. And I'm not a yeller. So any longer. So I am very matter of factly. But I do think that that's what you hear when I when I'm talking to you. Like, I think you hear me as Jasmina when I'm saying what I'm saying. No, I think you don't hear. I think you you made a good point before when you said, like, I don't. Um, This is I, when I'm in the workplace. This is just how I speak like I you know I'm trying to handle business booty, 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 yeah. right but we talked about this a while ago the energy that you bring to a work environment or something is not necessarily what you bring to your house or your spouse right yeah. so I you know I'm very um I'm very sensitive in the way that you communicate with me because I'm my like you are my softest place to land Right. So if you say something to me and it's the little bit like rah rah, I'm like, what what is happening? <laughs> you know what I mean? So I think that's what it is. That's all it is. I could dig that. And I just wish she would end up being a soft place to land, but you can't when you're a bed of nails. How about that? <laughs> like, yeah. You can't, okay? I just find this relationship it's really giving me anxiety yeah. because one because I just want I want all of the relationships to thrive, all of them, right? But I I can't pretend like I'm not re- I'm a little bit more invested in black love. Of course. I can't of pretend. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's because I want us to be in healthy yeah. relationships where we can be emotional and and find love and I want that for us. And it's unfortunate because I know there was probably a ton of black women who showed up loved it. but it's and it's always it's always because like you say um it's 
when it's successful, mm -hmm. it, it it's the most rewarding when we talk about the black love relationships. Yeah. And when they crumble, it, it, it it's the hardest hitting, right? That's why everybody loves Woody and Imani, or we, I could say, love Woody and Imani like we love Woody and Imani, right? Because not only are they a great couple, but for us, they are black. They are black great couple, right? right? And it's the reason why when you saw, um, uh, what was the other couple, Karen and Miles, you saw Miles as as a great black man, and you like you thinking. I know 10 black women right now right that would now. treat him right love him up uh, and, and so and I still that think that starting. Miles I, I hope you're in a happy relationship yeah, I, I'm gonna just leave it there <laughs> you, I'm gonna just leave it right. there mind my business child. right but I do think you know it's really unfortunate to watch because I don't think she understands that the, the trauma um and I know that's a big word, but that's exactly what it is that he, she's causing him because he's already a mild mannered man. Yeah. Mild mannered. Right. He already doesn't. Um, he, he he chooses his words wisely or tries to. And to see somebody almost like berate him. Yeah. I just couldn't believe the thing with the journal. And then she storms out. Yeah. It's like. Yeah, she just you know what? dust. I'm going to give you all an example. Joe used to leave when he got upset, right? And then we had countless conversations about it. We went to therapy and we talked about how that made me feel, whatever the case may be, and how you have to communicate with me if you need a moment, right? Because otherwise I feel a certain way that you just abandoned me, the conversation, the issue, whatever the case may be at the time, right? But guess what? I get upset and want to leave too, right? So in moments where I want to leave, I Joe will literally say, you're going to just leave the conversation just to like, hello, sis, you are being held to the same standards that I am in this relationship. You have the same responsibility here, despite the fact that, you know, you think you so emotionally evolved <laughs> or whatever the case may be. You know what I mean? I still have to say, I need a minute. Let me walk away, whatever the case may be, because I owe him that. So the idea that we wouldn't be doing the same things or same exercises, I would want to do the exercise. The problem is that, like we talked about, Jasmina does Chad, not hold right her. She wrong. doesn't hold her. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't hold herself to the same standard that she holds everybody else to. So in order for you to be conscious enough to think, well, I need to not do this too. In order enough, you'd be conscious enough to think it's it's rude and toxic for me to just get up and walk away from him you would have to think that you're capable of doing something wrong or negative mm. and she's clearly not that person y'all tell me what it's like being right all the time what's that like Please. i mean i'm right most of the time anyway but but literally right and every in every moment and especially when in a situation where you, there's constant conflict it's never you it's but then she said it like I'm not going to say it wasn't a hundred percent you. It shouldn't take two, five fucking weeks for you to say that, bro. Like, you know what I mean? And maybe this is us seeing her kind of come out and open up, but she, got, uh, yeah, all I'm going to say this is y'all therapy is so important. It is so desperately and deeply important. It's not for people who are crazy or nuts. It ain't even for bad relationships. Right. It's just really right. just to like, Sometimes you just need another perspective and somebody who is unbiased. And I think that what I'm looking when I see Elijah, Wan, when I see Lindsay, when I see Jasmina, all of them, but them specifically, it's very clear to me that they are in desperate need of professional help. Yeah desperate and i like elijah Wan. and i think that i think that he would be you know what i mean he would really come out be on the other side of it great but oh, a thousand percent Lindsay and Lindsay and uh jasmina need somebody to dig oh, in that yeah, ass yeah, 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 for sure they need somebody really to dig in that ass okay they need real, like, they need because i ain't never met no women that been so right had all the answers and had to go on tv to find a motherfucker and marry him that they ain't never seen in their life well, you can't really be a bad bitch and that's what you're doing that part <laughs> and and i mean that respectfully so i'm done reading you hoes for filth um <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. We just want y'all to be happy. Like, this is whack. <laughs> like, yeah. but 
we've enjoyed this. Um, please, by all means, um, wish my husband a happy birthday. If you guys want to do something nice, you can buy something from his store. He will leave the link below. Okay, some merch or whatever the case may be to support as a little birthday gift. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Okay, we'll be back later on in the week with another one. Okay, DJ Collar Voice. And I guess we'll see you before my vision of the sleep. Bye. Peace.